What's up everybody, it's Anis here and welcome to another episode. This week we're touring this newly constructed cliffside estate located in Zihuatanejo, Mexico. Home features four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 10,100 square feet built on an 8,000 square foot lot with an asking price of $2,700,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the developer, Parent Holdings, and the listing agent, Tracy Tudor, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's begin. We're gonna start our tour here on the walkway that takes us to the state. Beautiful landscaping throughout. I love the natural stone application here on the floors. And as soon as you walk in, your stairs widen up a little bit and you can get a brief look of the exterior architecture of this amazing property. On our left hand side, we have this raised water feature and it actually goes underneath the palapa, which I will cover later in the video. But more importantly, the moment you step into this house, you see the breathtaking views of Pacific Ocean. You have your infinity edge pool right there. This is stunning. The moment I walked into this house for the first time yesterday, I was blown away with the views. It literally feels like we're floating about the Pacific Ocean. Now coming back to the entry, we have the water feature on this side going down to a lower section. And this home is situated on a cliff side, which means down below us, you can literally hear waves rolling into the cliff and it's just amazing. You have this tranquil sound throughout the property. Now, let's continue our tour. We have concrete floors throughout, board form concrete walls, and I wanna first take everybody to this side where we have the first seating area. It's all open with built-in seating. We have a coffee table right in the center. And Mikey, I need you to get a close up here. We have these hand-laid stone floors that feels great on your feet. And they even utilize it as a baseboard detail here, which is a really unique touch. And we're gonna see this detail throughout the property. And when I say it's all open, I really mean that. I mean, we literally have no glass walls. We're underneath this palapa and you get that amazing indoor outdoor flow, natural air to come into the space. It just feels phenomenal to be here enjoying these views. In fact, Mikey, let's take everybody this way. Now we have this e-pay decking that runs on this floor all the way to the kitchen, 70 foot infinity edge pool and the views are just breathtaking. I feel like throughout the property, that's all we're gonna talk about. Views are just amazing. This home is situated on a cliff and it's so close to the ocean. So you get this very unique, one of a kind experience. I mean, we've been touring homes for the last two and a half years and we have toured some amazing properties, but the way this home feels, the way it's situated and how you can really enjoy and appreciate these ocean views, it's unlike anything we have ever seen before. I'm so hyped up about this tour. Not to mention, but it's, it's so close to Los Angeles. It took us, what, two and a half hours to get here. Exactly. Also, the price point is probably the best price point we've ever seen on this channel. Uh, yeah, the moment we walked into this property, Mikey was like, this is my favorite home we've ever toured. Yeah, I'm gonna save up money. I'm getting this house in two years. I love it out here. And Mikey, look at this. You have a 70 foot infinity edge pool where two sides, cantilevers, dark plaster. And if you look inside of the pool, you can see these really unique angles because the pool is actually exposed on the lower level. I guess we're gonna see that in a bit. Overall, beautiful property. The architect, Daniel Zosaya, did a phenomenal job with the design. Now, outdoor space continues. We have ePay decking down below us, and this entire decking that we have on both floors are framed with steel, which is as good as it gets. You have a built-in seating area here. Patio continues to the other side, but first I wanna take everybody back this way underneath the palapa, because I wanna talk about this architectural detail. Situated on the main floor, this roof assembly is built with steel frame and concrete columns. And in fact, Mikey, let's pan up the ceiling for a second. It's built in a really authentic way. We have 
palm fronts as your roof and underneath that you have all these beam details and if you look at the peak it has a nice opening on both sides which again helps with the airflow and on top of that since I said it's built in an authentic way you can actually see these hand woven details where the beams and the rafters meet it's an awesome design and I love that they merge this kind of application with a modern home now right next to us we have the outdoor dining area beautiful table setup that sits eight people, gorgeous chandelier above, and the same hand laid stone detail that we saw at the seating area. They have it also here, and right in the center, we have this built in Lazy Susan. In fact, this morning we had an awesome breakfast here, and that Lazy Susan comes pretty handy. Yeah, one thing before you move on, I wanna say I really love the furniture in this house. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like it's really tasteful. It's really kind of like, I know where you're going. On theme with the location, but yeah, I wanted to point out this ant sculpture. I've never really seen anything like it, and it was the first thing I noticed when I walked in. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It's a custom piece. In fact, Mikey, it's built out of cast iron, and they clad this beautiful wood around it. It's a unique piece for sure. Definitely. All right, these are amazing. Patio continues on this side, but first, I want to bring everybody this way. So this is where we have the staircase going down to the lower level. But the way this staircase is designed with the board form concrete walls, the recessed in floor lighting, the openness right at the halfway landing and how the staircase opens up and widens as you go down to the lower level. This is one of my favorite parts of this home and we're gonna cover that later in the video. Also, we have these darker switch plates throughout the property, which I thought was a nice contemporary touch. Now, we have the dining area here, kitchen on this side, sliding glass door, closing off this section and you have a screen door also behind it. And more importantly, we have the same hand laid stone detail creating a nice break pattern between the dining area and kitchen. Now, Mikey, let's go over this side and talk about the kitchen. Island in the center with natural stone countertops, bar seating here, pen and lights above, and we have the accordion doors here opening up to the side patio. Again, look at these views. It's phenomenal. We have a split AC unit above, and before we leave the island, if you look closely right here, you can see that even the leg of this island is built out of board from concrete. Now, Come into this section, we have the rest of the base cabinets. Seam natural stone countertops are also here. You have the built-in gas stove, sink on the other side. But more importantly, this is actually a floating design rather than cabinets going all the way to the floor. We're used to seeing this application in bathrooms, but in this case, they've applied it here. And honestly, it makes sense because it goes with the open theme of this estate. Lastly, the cabinetry here is gorgeous. It's actually vein matched and they call this parota wood, and they use the same wood throughout the built-ins and some of the millwork in this house. Now, let's go to the other side and check out the seating area. It's all open. We have another built-in seating area here with a TV, open shelves. I love this recessed in section here for some decoration. And Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling so we can show this board form concrete ceiling detail, which breaks the smoothness of the stucco walls and creates a nice texture. Now, also the seating area comes with a powder room, which starts right here. Stone floors, gorgeous vanity design here with a live edge, drop-in chisel sink, and my favorite detail in this powder room is right above us. You have a glass skylight, which brings natural light and creates a nice tunnel effect there. Ceiling fan, gorgeous powder room. And now, lastly, before we end our tour, Right here, we have this opening, taking us to the prep kitchen. Same style cabinetry is also here. Stone countertops, your gas stove, casement windows throughout, sink, dishwasher, and you have the fridge right here. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody to the outdoors, to the side deck, where we can enjoy these views a little bit more. Now, the same ePay decking continues to this side. Right above us, we have this gazebo design, but instead of four legs, they actually have two concrete column legs with steel frame on top, which makes this a little bit more contemporary and goes with the lines of the home. Another dining area right in the center. And again, look at these views. It's phenomenal. I just can't get over it. I wanna keep talking about it, you know? Yeah, we have that sound. Every room of the house, we hear those waves crashing. And Ennis and I are actually staying around this little cliff here in a little villa that the developers have provided us. And there's nothing like going to sleep with waking up to that sound. It's incredible. You just leave your glass doors open. This is the view and sound you enjoy every day or throughout the day. They also named this house Casa del Encantilado, which means cliff house. And it's not hard to understand why. We're literally on a cliff. 
It's just amazing. Yeah, this is, this is really incredible. This is an amazing opportunity. Absolutely. Let's continue our tour. Dining area, we have two hammocks. And coming here, your patio pretty much extends out, pretty much cantilevers. And I want to show this detail. We actually have a staircase coming down from the entry all the way to the lower level. That's your staff access if you need to. And lastly, I want to talk about our surroundings here. So this home is part of a development called Punto Gorobo, and it's situated over 100 acres. And this home is actually the very first one that they have ever completed. There are 62 lots included within the phase one, and they sold more than half of the lots. There are four homes under construction, and we got a chance to tour this very first one. And it's so special around here. I mean, look around here. It's private, it's tranquil. You have a lighthouse at the end. Views are phenomenal. And this development has concierge service, tennis courts, a bar down below that we're gonna check out later with a pool area. It's gated, it's secure. They literally provide you everything you need. And on top of that, soon they're breaking ground on a brand new boutique hotel. So this entire area is gonna be developed. It's gonna be incredible. And again, we're getting a chance to see the first phase of it. Now, that wraps our tour on the main floor. Let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. Here we are on the lower level. Now, before we start our tour here, I wanna actually turn back and talk about this amazing staircase design. It's all built out of concrete. I love the board form detail on the walls. And we mentioned this detail earlier. The midway landing is actually open, allowing natural air to come into the space. And since it's open, when it rains, actually water runs down here. And in the staircase, there are actually two points where we have this gravel design because it's actually hiding a drain system down there. That way, you can literally watch the water come down and get captured by these drains. Another detail I want to point out are these recessed in wall lighting that looks down on the stairs. And on the other side, they have recessed in floor lighting, lighting up the beautiful board form texture. It's amazing. This house has a little bit of a Frank Lloyd Wright influence to it. And we're going to see these unique lines throughout. First, I'm going to start our tour here. First bedroom. This one is designed as a kid's bedroom. We have the beds down below, two bunk beds above. And again, millwork details throughout. Just looks stunning. Nice high ceilings, beam details above with a ceiling fan. We have the built-in closets on this side. But first, I want to actually go this way to check out the bathroom. Then it is designed here with double sinks. Again, I love the cabinetry. We have the water closet on this side, stucco walls, and it takes you all the way into this walk-in shower. Michael, let's get a close-up. Again, inlay stone on the floors, beautiful rain head design above us, built into the wall, casement window, gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's go back into the bedroom because this one actually has its own private patio. Sliding glass doors open up, and here we go connected to the outdoors. Down below us, you can literally hear waves rolling in. It's so peaceful and tranquil up here. And keep in mind, we're about 15 feet down below from the main level. So we're a little bit closer to the ocean. Look at the scenery here. This is amazing. And talking about those architectural lines, we can actually see the main floor pool from this angle. It's again, all bored from concrete. I love that it cantilevers out a little bit. And all these bedrooms are connected to the outdoors. This is amazing. Now, let's take everybody back inside, Mikey, so we can continue our tour. Back to the landing here, and right next door, we have the second bedroom. Even on this side, everything is bored from concrete, and we have the door right here going in. Now, this bedroom qualifies as one of your primary bedrooms. I'm gonna name this junior primary bedroom suite, but this is actually Mikey's favorite room. He likes it more than the primary bedroom we have on the other side. I do. It is so connected to the views. We have an open corner design here, thanks to this concrete column. According glass doors are all pushed to the side. Bedroom is so connected to the views. This is amazing. And we have concrete floors here, seamlessly transitioning into this IPE decking. And there you go, that's your view right there. Mikey, let's get a close up. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, why this is my favorite room. I mean, the other ones all get ocean views, obviously, but something about the way you're framed on the cliff right here just feels really cool. This is amazing, and again, you just leave your glass doors open. At night, this is how you go to sleep. Isn't that incredible? It's awesome. I love this property. All right, 
We have more outdoor deck space here. Even this section actually cantilevers out. The architectural lines of this home is truly stunning. Let's bring everybody here. We have the bathroom for the room. Same style vanity, two sinks, another gorgeous shower, and I have to step inside. Inlay stone on the floors, rain head above. You have this beautiful opening. You yeah. can literally hear the ocean as you're taking a shower. It almost looks like there's glass get there because the color of the concrete changes, but it goes straight out. It's incredible. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, Mikey, let's also show the water closet, which is right behind you, which is right here. And that's it for the bedroom number two. Now, let's go back to the landing again. And I actually love the board from concrete design that they have throughout. It almost reminds me of Goldstein's uh, property. Yeah, yeah, Sheets Goldstein Estate. Yep. I'm sure you all remember it from several weeks ago. Uh, you if you haven't watched it, yeah. make sure to watch Please it. Please do. One of the coolest properties because of how much board form concrete they used in that house. But uh, as soon as I walked in here, I saw that pool overhang from the bottom floor. It immediately reminded me of that property. I guess while we're out here, let's talk about the pool. Let's do it. So on the lower level, they have this infinity edge pool. And I just love how it's framed because as it goes towards the views, it kind of channels out a little bit. It is also connected to your main primary bedroom. Same board form concrete details are also here. Darker plaster. This is an iconic shot right here. Yeah. I mean, I just want to frame this view. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, bedroom number three. It starts right here. King size bed on the left. We have the built-in closets on this side. Again, wood ceiling details. And that's your main floor pool. That's right above us. It actually comes into this level. It creates a nice architectural contrast. Sliding glass doors open up. Should we go outside again one more time? No, we have to. It's hard not to. Just amazing. I feel like homes like this, you see it on photos or videos. And today we got a chance to experience it and it feels so different. Well, we're like, right there. The house from the outside, looking at it from a drone, it almost looks like a render. It doesn't, it doesn't even look real. When we first saw the photos of this property uh, before we came here, I, I thought it was a render. I thought it was like still under construction or something. Amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. All right, we have this door here opening up to a full bathroom, same style vanity with two sinks, wall fixtures. We have the water closet around the corner. Again, inlaid stone on the floors. Another walk-in shower, rain head, open frame. Beautiful, just beautiful. Now, let's go back to the landing so we can go check out the primary bedroom suite, which is right around the corner. This door opens up to your laundry room, and let's go inside. As soon as you walk into the room, you have the built-in closets on this side. Walkway takes you to the bathroom, but first, I wanna take everybody this way to check out the bed setup. King-size bed right here, of course, facing the breathtaking views. And this time, instead of having concrete floors here, they actually brought the EPA decking all the way into the room, but right underneath the king size bed, we have the same hand-laid stone detail. Ceiling heights are amazing with the beams, ceiling fan right in the center. And as you guys can see, sun is literally pouring into the bedroom. It's gorgeous. We have an open corner in here with according glass doors. And so far, we've been talking about the house, but we're here in Mexico. Ziwa Tanejo. Isn't this amazing, Mikey? I mean, we quickly forgot that we're in another country. We're just so amazed by the house, but yeah. Yeah, the Pacific Ocean really is as blue as it was in my dreams. It really is. Yeah. It's gorgeous out here. I love this deck space. And I want to mention something. I know we briefly touched on it, but the interior square footage also covers the outdoor decks and the balconies, meaning 10,100 square feet includes all the walkable space that you see throughout the home. And some of you may find that confusing, but the thing is, this is how they live out here. Like everybody has their sliding glass doors open all the time. It's just part of the experience. Yeah, in LA, this, this wouldn't be considered indoor square footage, but I mean, you also have the living room upstairs. It, it's a living room. Even though it's exposed to the outside, it only makes sense to consider Well, it. our place that we stay in, yeah. the living room is all open. They don't even have glass walls. Yeah. And we stayed there last night. It was so awesome. Yeah. You literally have breeze coming in. It's, it's great. Perfect, yeah. All right, Mikey, we got to take everybody this way. Another gorgeous architectural line above us. That's the other part of the main floor pool. And this is your lower level pool. I mean, look at that edge right there. So iconic. I mean, I just want to sit down there and just listen to waves. Yeah, maybe once we're done shooting, we can jump in there and just take a look at the view. Absolutely. Gorgeous. All right, let's go back this way. Actually, I'm going to go back into the bedroom because I want to take everybody to the bathroom. 
same hand laid stone detail they have it throughout the space your vanity design here with two sinks wall fixture alabaster wall sconces and look at this water closet i love this this is awesome we have no glass above it's just connected to the outdoors it's an experience to sit down here that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> yeah it's awesome all right glass door opens up to your outdoor shower this one is fully open rain head above and i just love the fact that they drilled all the way into the beam that way they can hide the water line so it looks very sleek and elegant and you step right back out to your main bedroom balcony this is amazing this is gorgeous we have never toured anything like this and i know some of you may say ns we're used to seeing you touring 30 40 50 100 million dollar homes why you wanted to come out to mexico i think for the price point this is one of the best homes we have ever featured on both of our channels in fact the moment i saw the exterior photos i knew that we had to come to mexico shoot it and share it with all of you and it doesn't end there when you buy this home you're getting into an amazing luxury development. And on top of that, right next to this development, you have a thriving coastal city. Ziwa Taneho, or Ziwa, as is affectionately called by locals, is a tropical paradise on Mexico's central Pacific coast, home to delicious local cuisine, amazing friendly people, and some of the world's most stunning beaches. Originally a tranquil fishing village, Ziwa exploded in popularity in the 1970s following the construction of Ixtapa nearby. Today the city attracts tourists from across the world but retains the laid-back and authentic charm that made Ziwa the dream destination for trekkers seeking an adventure off the beaten track. That's why we're here, you know, that's exactly what you come for. You come for the view and the, and the uh, aesthetic. Great. And, the, and the good time, of course. We spent our first morning walking through the town's palm-lined cobblestone streets, meeting the locals, and tasting some of Ziwa's signature dishes. What is it? Okay, fish tacos. Nice. The afternoon we spent on the water and got a chance to see the development from a totally different perspective. We're about uh, 100 yards off the Casa del Cantalado. As you can tell, you know, being built into a cliff so close to the water, one of the most important aspects of building a home like this so close is the foundation. And you'll see here that uh, the whole house is made of concrete and the foundation is just as large or larger than the house itself. And that's to keep everyone safe in the house structure sound. From the water, you can see the incredible size of the Punta Garoba development. It stretches down the coastline as far as the eye can see. Although the home we toured earlier is the first to be built on this site, Punta Groba's infrastructure is already in place and includes some incredible amenities like a tennis court, a private beach club with a bar and pool, and some private villas. It was an incredibly refreshing experience to get to travel to Ziwa and get out of the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles. So Mikey's asking me what we are up to. Tonight is our third night, Yep. right? Uh, we're gonna have dinner at the main estate. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. We've been eating so good so far. And Nick is dressed sharp as always. Um, Arman is really excited for the food. I know him too well. Uh, Mikey's sunburned. I'm thirsty. The days we spent on the sun-drenched beaches and Cito Ziwa Tenejo were wonderful, but the house really became a magical place at night. That's it from Mexico. I hope you all enjoyed this tour. I want to give big thanks to the developer, Penn Holdings, and the listing agent, Tracy Tudor, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. If you want more information about this property and this luxury development, make sure to check out the links in the description. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.
Welcome to Mexico.